Hey everyone, this is Heather again and this is another video in our series on the complex tools that we have. So today we are going to discuss this Gambit tool, which is an intraday scanner to find the best option strategies for you. So this tool is for those who are slightly experienced in options trading and instead of just buying calls or buying puts, they want to trade different kinds of strategies such as spreads, vertical spreads, uh, credit spreads, debit spreads, let's say calendar spreads, things like that, straddles, strangles, etc. Or let's say covered calls, cash secured put. So, so the whole range of uh, strategies that we have for options, this tool is for people who want to trade them. And this tool uh, is an intraday tool again, where it, it goes over the options flow for the entire market and every five minutes, it finds the best strategies in the market right now and it then posts them into this tool. So this, uh, the data we are seeing is from April 23rd. You can change the data from here. Obviously, if, if you're looking at the data, uh, if you open this tool by default, you'll be shown the latest data. So for the data for today, but I wanted to go back and just so, show you some, some stuff from some, some, some days ago. So we can see that on April 23rd, we had this uh, signal on uh, st we, the stock price for MS was 18. We had a strategy and cash secured put where what we were going to do was we were going to keep cash for 100 stocks at 14 and we were going to sell a 14 uh, put 14 strike put for an expiration of 21st May 2021 and we were going to collect a premium of $170. So now this means if, if, if you're again new this means that if the stock price goes to 14 you'll have to pay and buy the buy 100 shares at $14 per share, but you, you'll keep $175, $172 in premium. So this is what cash secured puts are. You have the probability of profit, then you have the max profit. Max profit is obviously the credit. Let's say that the stock price stays above 14, then the, the contract will expire worthless and you'll keep your $172 profit. So that's the profit. Max loss would be this. Again, I won't go into the details because if you just hover over these, you'll uh, understand how we calculate the max max loss. Then we have the reward to risk and then we have the expected value. So the expected value is like, if you went into this contract, let's say 100 times, then what will be the probability, what will be the total profits or the average profits that you're going to get? So those will be like $40. So then we have some covered calls where you, you buy 100 stocks and you sell uh, an out of the money call option. Then we have some put debit spreads and then we have one call debit spread as well. So this data is from the last five minutes on April 23rd since the dashboard gets overwritten every five minutes. During the day, you will see a lot more contracts here. These are just 23, but during the day you see like 100 or 200 trade ideas here. So you can find, find more, go through more trade ideas and find the good ones. You can also just sort these columns based on reward or risk. So it seems like a put debit spread for SPY might work really well. It has a probability of profit, very low probability of profit, but reward to risk is uh, high. So you always want a decent probability of profit and uh, a decent reward to risk. This is not good right now. This is slightly better because we have about 51% probability of profit and then the reward to risk is one. So, you, so the reward to risk should always be greater than one for, for the setups that you want to go in and the probability of profit should always be greater than at least 40 or 50%. And these are the two columns that we use to calculate this expected value as well. So you can see that very low expected value here. This is slightly better. This is negative actually. Although the reward to risk is positive, since the probability is so low, the expected value is negative. So th this is how you can use expected values. So you'll, you'll see that the expected values for covered calls are slightly high. Uh, that's because of how, how we calculate all these things. But overall for covered calls, the expected value is always high. So that's something that you might just want to ignore. Uh, the expected values are slightly more precise and more accurate for these spreads and for strangles and straddles. For covered calls and cash secured puts, they are slightly off because of how the algorithm is written on the back end. But then we, we have all these filters that you can use to find the one to find the uh, option strategies that you want. You can clear these filters. You can go back and look at different uh, data for different dates. And so that, that's it. This is a fairly a simple tool, but it should only be used by people who are familiar with what option strategies are 
uh, you also need to have a abundant money in your account to be able to sell all these contracts and then buy them and do spreads and everything so please only use this tool if you're slightly experienced if you are then this is a really useful tool for you because it scans the entire market and presents to you the very best uh, strategies out there so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching it if you have any comments if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video